Welcome to another training session. In today's session, we are going to see how we can do the analog input using a swing to output. The first start in today's session, I would highly recommend you guys to please subscribe the channel and press the bell item for more upcoming video tutorials. So first of all, we will open our thematic manager software. As we are going to read an analog input, we have to configure or add a uh, analog code into our project. So to add this one, we will go to the hardware configuration and here we will go to the another key holder browser from 300 AI 300 analog input. Every time choose the first card and add and talk it there. If you double click on this card, it will open another menu. Every time you see the address is for the analog input identity starting from P66. We can click here and turn this other block. We have that. But to the but for today, I will keep it same as Q56. And for the input, we can select the type of input. Either it is 0 to 24 to 22 wire. Or wire analog input or it is a zero to power volt. So to do this, we will click here and select this two wire transmitter and it will be a four to twenty million current input. So we click OK, compile. We will close this hardware configuration and go to the CPU and open its block. So go to the OB1 block. Here we will select the ladder logic. As a programming language, as you're talking. Next, we will open the OB1 and we will go to the library. Here we have rebuild block by the things which we can use. We'll go to the standard library, CIS7, converting blocks, and here we will use FP101, scale canola. We'll try and drop it here and so we will insert the analog channel we are going to use like a PIW, input word P fifty six. Then we will insert the high limit and the low limit. So as we are going to convert this PIW two fifty six analog input to zero to hundred percent. So we will insert it on the one zero and for the low limit zero point zero. In the bipolar stereo and scale the negative and the positive band of the input were 254. We will attach here this and zero from zero to activate this bipolar function. In the return value, we will insert memory word 20. So it will show an alarm or information in the memory word. And the scale value will be our output and we will insert here and the protein. So this is our double. And we hope it and it will carry the scaled value zero to hundred percent in it. So we will go back and download the channel to go real cool. I shall make this drop and we will then up our PLC theme software. And as you can see that the input is zero and our scale value is also zero. And if I leave the positive, the key points through that it's now showing five point six. As we are as you can see that as we are improving the input rate of two six to two fifty six word, our uh, output is also going to be and at the to count the down input value, it is showing the 100% rates. So, this block is basically converting our input word into 0 to 100% and saving it to MD output. For example, if we connect the temperature transmitter at this input 256 and its scaling is 0 to 150 centigrade. 
what it that will do, it will convert the output 4 to 20 one signal into 0 to 150 degrees centigrade. So this is how we can read and scale our uh, analog inputs using FM 300 VLC summary power workflow. I hope you like it to share, like and subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to stay connected with me. Till next time, good point, goodbye.